this kitchen is going to have a false ceiling fitted. So what I've done is I've rigged the laser level up here so it's shooting a beam around that side of the room. We're going to build a partition using some 3x2 timber. So these will be stumps going across the old ceiling. So we found the lowest point on the ceiling which is just below this extracting duct. So we need to get our first piece of 3x2 underneath there. And then we're going to go all the way around the perimeter of the room using the 3x2. And then in between the 3x2 we're going to put studs across. So the laser level is perfectly level there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that marking onto the wall. And I'm going to use a piece of 3x2 and I'm going to use my spirit level. And I'm going to draw that on using a permanent marker. And then we can take the laser level down. We've now got the first piece of timber that we're going to fix to the wall and before we do this we're going to cut the actual back of it and we're going to notch it out where the pipes and cables are. So we can now draw along here roughly, it doesn't need to be deadly accurate. And then I've set the depth of the circular saw so that it goes in by about 10mm. And I'm now going to use this to cut across there and then I'm going to chisel the centre section out. So we can then take a wood chisel and we can just chisel that out. So we're now going to use a wood drill bit and we're going to pre-drill the wood. So I'm now just going to spot through this hole into the masonry behind. And now I'm going to drill the hole deep enough to accept the wall plug. So we're now going to put the plug into that hole. Making sure it's pushed all the way in. So to fix the timber to the wall we're going to use these 4 inch long screws. And I'm just going to drive these in using a drill driver. And that has now got that piece of wood, I can now let go of it. And what I can do now is I can adjust it slightly, if I need to go up or down a couple of millimetres on each side, I can quite easily do that. What I'm going to do now is drill through the holes that I've pre-drilled in the wood using this drill bit which is the correct size for the wall plugs and then I'm going to put these screws in. So if you look at the actual drill bit it's just long enough so that we can go through the actual timber and into the wall far enough so that the wall plug will work. I'm now going to take the wall plug and the screw I'm just going to start the screw off in the plug and I'm going to actually knock that through the wood until the plug goes into the masonry. So again I've put the plug on the end of the screw I'm going to knock that through the hole
Now we've got the timber pixel wall on all four sides. We now need to mark the side pieces at every 600 mil. So the first wall that you measure should always be measured from the wall. So if you measure 600 mil from the wall, I'm just going to put a line on there with the pencil, and I'll also put a line underneath so that we can see it from underneath. So that's the first 600 mil mark. We now need to mark another 600 mil away from that mark, which is. Uh, So we now need to do that on the opposite side to this and we need to mark every 600mm and that will show us where we need to put our studs. So I'm now going to measure the actual length of the stud we need from the mark on that side and this side. And when you do this, it's always a good idea to cut the stud a couple of millimetres longer than what you actually need and then you can actually knock it in. If you cut it too small, it's going to be very slack and it'll be very difficult to fit. So if you just put that on there and we can measure the gap. So I've actually put a pencil mark there on the centre of the stud that we're going to be fixing next. And that pencil mark needs to align with that pencil mark up there. But when you're working on your own, you'll find it extremely difficult getting that aligned. So what I've done is I've got a piece of timber, a small off cut here, and a screw. And I'm going to push the screw through there and I'm going to use that and I'm going to put that underneath where the stud's going and that'll temporarily hold it in position. So I can now take a piece of timber and I can put it up there, I can rest it on the temporary legs that I've put at that side and I can bring the timber down I can get it level and then all I need to do is take my hammer and I can just tap that across until I've got the centre of the stud in the centre of the mark that I've made. So I'll now take the temporary support down. And then we just need to tap this one across about 5mm. So that's it now, that stud is firmly in position, so now what we need to do is screw it and fix it so that it can't go anywhere. Now we've got all the studs set at 600 millimeter centers. In order to strengthen it, we're going to put a piece of 3 by 2 up above here, running the opposite direction. So we're going to put it up. And then we're going to turn it once we get it past the studs. So it's going to sit on the end stud here and then we're going to screw straight through every other stud and we're going to use some 4 inch screws like that. Uh, I'm actually going to join this to another piece of 3 by 2 so it makes one continuous length directly from one end straight to the other end.
So in order to strengthen these studs up, we're going to put some noggins in. And noggins are just sharp pieces of wood that will strengthen the studs. So all you need to do is take a measurement, and I've actually marked these joints already. And these are marked 600 millimetres away from the wall. So now all you need to do is take a measurement from between the two studs, and then cut your nog into that length, and then screw it into position. And that will fix the whole thing up, and it'll make it really, really firm. So we've cut the actual nog in to be a tight fit. So we're going to put that in, and then we're just going to tap it into position. And once we've knocked that in, we're then going to skew screw it on one side, and then on this side we're going to put a couple of screws directly into the end of the noggin.